I had a pile of different clothes that needed some small sewing repairs as well as some bikinis that needed cups added to them because when I bought them it came without cups. Whose idea was that? I also had some jewelry that needed some minor repairs as well as I just made some random beaded necklaces here. This little necklace I bought in Hong Kong on a business trip a few months ago and it broke very soon after so I wanted to repair it. It's made of sea glass and it's kind of a choker necklace. Super cute. This necklace I ended up just throwing away unfortunately. It just kept coming unraveled and I tried to repair it over the years but it was futile. I wear this one a lot. It's also almost a choker and I added some little, I don't know, little clasp on the end. So I fixed it pretty quickly. I don't know where my jewelry tools went. I used to have some where it just makes small repairs and stuff and I had to use a pair of tweezers this time. By the way, all these necklaces I made except for the one at the beginning with the sea glass and then the one at the end with the chain and little turquoise on it. I've had a bunch of beads just laying around that I've kept in my craft drawer for years so I decided to make a little necklace out of them. It ended up looking like a kid's craft. I found some jingle bells from either 2012 or 2013 and I've decided to make a treble bell string for our newest dog. She's a rescue and she was just potty trained completely in June. So we realized the last time we traveled that she had nothing to alert us that she needed to go to the bathroom with. Uh, she would just scratch at the door and stuff like that. Obviously we don't want her doing that in someone else's home. So I put these bells on a string and we'll loop it over a door handle. This was a North Face puffer coat that I got I think last winter or the winter before for like 40 to 60 bucks off Facebook Marketplace. Anyway, I had some treats in the pocket and as you can see my dogs chewed through it when it was laying on my chair. So I just hand stitched it. I have a bunch of North Face fleece, coats, boots, etc all thrifted or from clearance items. You can find these on Facebook Marketplace and even places like Poshmark. People will post them up right after uh, Christmas and they'll post them up for a lot cheaper fraction of the price from what they were bought for and they don't like them because of the color or they have a hood or they don't have a hood, etc. Definitely check out Facebook Marketplace if you're looking for a good deal. So this was a body glove bikini top that came with, I don't know if it came with any padding actually. Body glove doesn't include a lot of padding for some reason. So I ended up cutting the seams with a stitch ripper and some tiny sewing scissors and adding my own pads, which I bought on Amazon Marketplace. Sorry for the chewing in the background, my dog's chewing on a bone. 